What up, Biscuits? This is Absolutely Boxing, and we have figured it out. Uh, I am the King Biscuit himself, Absolutely Joe, coming at you, sopping up all that boxing gravy. Um, Nick is not with us tonight, but what we do have with us tonight is Jeff Jenkins, CEO of Overhand Pro mm -hmm. Boxing, a fantastic boxing media company. That is looking to do some good things in the sport of boxing. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and bring them on. Hey. What's going on, man? Hey, there's Jeff. There's Jeff. Hey, man. I'm sorry. I had some technical difficulties. Uh. Anyway, I figured it out, and you're here, and we're both here, so it's good to have you, man. I'm so excited to have you on our on our on our show, man. Man, I appreciate the platform, man. We definitely uh, we definitely appreciate it, man. We love the sport of boxing, man. We love what everybody's doing to contribute in the sport of boxing, man. Let's, man, let's do it, man. Yeah, man, we're excited because uh, you know, me and you, uh, you and I had a brief conversation. Also, I've been talking to Antonio, and we just been talking about all the things that you guys have been doing just in the sport of boxing, namely for boxers themselves. Could you please tell everyone and give everybody a quick rundown of what it is that you guys are doing for the sport of boxing today? Right now for the sport of boxing, we're, um, we're helping out with the website. We're making it easier for promoters and fighters to do pretty much collab, make a good fight card, you know, um, a lot of problems I dealt with in the bo boxing business is, you know, I get promoters calling me pretty much saying, hey, can you find this? Can you find that? And, you know, I, I felt like I'm adding more work on me by just calling gyms and, you know, it, it was it was it was a lot of work, man. It was it was just crazy. A lot of phone calls, a lot of, you know, rejections. So what we, what we end up doing is we found a solution by just creating this website where we can get fighters to sign their sign up and, and, and build a profile and then promoters could get on and, and see these fighters and they profile their record, where they're from, you know, um, they last opponent, what's their strength and weaknesses. I mean, pretty much we're, we're, we're laying the, the, the cornerstone of on making fights easier for promoters and, and fighters could get on and they could at least, you know, have the, the feel of a at least my my information is out there for people to get see so i mean we can't say we guarantee every fighter a fight but at least you have the opportunity for promoters to see who's out there and it, it, to me i feel like that's better than just being known in the gym you know what i mean so i feel uh, our, my team we we felt like you know we we need to be a pipeline not a middleman but like a pipeline to help promoters and fighters you know, collab. And then another good thing too, because of some of these fighters don't have management. So we could step in as management. They could sign the contract with Overhand Pro and we'll make sure that these guys are able to get a fair fight, fair contract. And, you know, we won't, we won't, we won't accept the fight if we feel like the, the boxer's not getting treated well. So that, that's the, that's the platform we're doing, right? And, and it, it's been successful. We, we have about at least about we have to update the, the website, but I'm we have about 50 boxers, at least about 10 gyms signed up, and about six promoters. So, and this is just in a three week span. So we're 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 building. We just need more people to join in. You know, it's free to register. Get your profile up there. Get your name out there. Uh, you know, I I think this could be a successful website and, and, and a big impact for the boxing world. Yeah, absolutely. And what people see is um. People see a lot of boxers uh, on social media, um, just just everywhere on, on the TV, and people see some promoters, but they don't realize how many boxers there are and how many promoters there are. And they don't understand that, that it takes someone like you to bring those two together because it's not easy for them to get in touch with each other. Exactly, and um, and it, it's it's gonna help too because we 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 got uh, Angel Manfredi. He uh. Uh, he he got part of the ownership of the company too. So since he been on board, I mean we've been the, the website been sky high. I mean you, you got a legendary Puerto Rican champion, you know, and especially with a lot of the Latin followers and Spanish followers, uh, 
we uh we we're, we're it's starting to boom and we're <laughs> and we actually understaffed like crazy so i mean we're working 24 7 getting everything done i'm i'm working my original job and then on breaks i'm i'm going in you know just checking out the website making sure everything is good to go so we're uh we're 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 out there, man. We out there and we're working hard and we're trying to make some some very magical for boxing. You know, I mean, it, it, it's to to us. I feel like you know we're we living in a digital age now, so we, the step away from the old school ways of bo uh, match uh, matchmaking and let's, let's take it digital because that's where everybody's used to anyways. You, you you could do anything on your phone, your laptops, your tablets, whatever. You know, so we we make make it easy access. You know. Yeah, I mean, and that's society we live in, and, and the more you can do that for people, uh, the better off, uh, the better off everything works out. Um, exactly. How did you, how did you yourself get into the sport of boxing? Um, well, I I grew up watching boxing all my life. Uh, I have family members who box. Um, I, I I was more of a basketball, football type person, but I always boxing to me was still the most entertaining sport in the world to me. Um, I I love the competition. I love it was one on one. You know what I mean? It was. It, it, don't get me wrong. I love a team structure, but one on one really defines who you are. You know what I mean? So to me, I felt like you got your, yourself, the opponent, and you know, and you you have to have that mental aspect to to be a champion. So I I, I felt like boxing was more, you know, more of an entertaining, like more of a. a, a a mind exercise for me, you know, because I, I love watching people do defense. I love the offensive strategy. You know, this guy, you know, he might have been winning the first half of the fight, but then the second half, the guy came back. And I mean, it, it was, it was, it was, it was, it's almost like a soap opera to me. It, it was, I love, I love the sport of boxing, man. So what, what kind of got me in the business was my, my business partner, Redbeard. He's, uh, he's always business minded. So he was like, man, you know, we get to that point of our age where, you know, we're going to be retiring soon. I'm I'm like, well, we live in America. You, you know, I probably got like 30 more years. But <laughs> but he was all like, well, you, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about. We need to start, stop working with our hands and start using our brain. And um, he, he helped us with the structure of uh, Overhand Pro and – we had we overhand pro went through a lot of changes. We we had to we had to adapt to you know we had we have we had a lot of failures and we had a lot of success, but we're 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 learning to adapt. So, um, pretty much you know Red Red Beer came in and and he he gave it the, he gave it the business flavor and um and ever since then man we we just been we've been at it because I, I haven't been so confident about anything except you know except for this and myself you know what I mean so. Yep. We lost Jeff. When he comes, when he gets a signal tray, he'll come on back. But yeah, overhand pro, uh, boxing, other they're, they're trending upwards, and um, they just you know the, the the website for fighters to be able to register, uh, and then to have promoters and fighters come together in order to make cards. I mean that's huge, and I, I know that a lot of people out there that watch boxing, all you do is you you, you turn on your TV and you see. Uh, top rank or, or or PBC or a Heyman or all that you see people you see these promoters that are on the front lines and that they um all good Jeff I mean you know when you get back in we'll see you we're still here we're waiting for you um you see all these promoters that you know the, the top names Eddie Hearn and so forth and you just think that you know they're it's magic and and they do all this hard work and to get these fighters cards and you get a seven fight nine fight card and you just think it all happens like magically. So um, it's where guys like uh, Jeff Jenkins and his company come in at. And there's so many other matchmakers, matchmaker types. And I know Jen Jeff is not a matchmaker, but he does provide that 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 um, platform, that pipeline for boxers and promoters to come together. So. All right, we back. Try it round two. I mean, there's 12 rounds. We're on the second round. We can go. <laughs> well, we back, man. We back, man. Yeah, yeah. man. I got. I'm gonna have to call my damn cable services and ask them what the hell is up, man. My damn Wi-Fi should be picking this up with no problems. 
Yeah, man, I I, I got to cuss my cable company on the weekly because, you know, they take all this money from you. They need to give me a good signal. All right, still there? <laughs> I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to step outside and see if I can get some better signal. Okay. We'll relocate this outdoors since it's still sunny. Enjoy this Wyoming sun while it lasts. Man, it's pitch, it's pitch black here. It's bedtime for me. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. It's coming. But yeah, man, uh, we're we we um. I don't know where I left off at on the um on the the matchmaking, but uh, or my one of my failures. But like I said, we uh we underestimated the financial part of it um with our with our package deals and stuff so um we understand now that you know so we kind of we kind of like i said we went to the free registration and we've been getting way more uh response and more people getting along jumping along on this the website so um i think that was one of our biggest failures on that okay but it looks like you obviously you've got, you know learning from your mistakes is the biggest thing so now that you're able to move forward, I mean, you know, now you're doing it big. And who else? Uh, I know you mentioned Angel Man Freddie earlier. Who else? Uh, what's your whole team like? Uh, I know you said you're. you're is, is Antonio your brother? Yes, that's my brother. Okay. Yeah. And who else you got with brothers. you? I got. Uh, we got um, Red Beer. He's out in Florida. He's he's the uh, the partner. Is uh, me and him's the partners of the company. Uh, we have Marusa. She's out in the U, uh, Ukraine. She does most of the marketing out in Europe. If you ever check out the Overhand Pro Boxing Europe, she's she's the the queen of that. She handles all the all the business out there. Uh, we got Angel Man Freddie. We have Lori. That's his assistant, but she's uh we moving her up to uh to the boards. So she's she's getting the promotions. She's uh she's been a, a very very important piece of the company in, in a short time. So um I'll definitely shout out to Lori and um. Pretty much, we have a few guys. I got I got my boy Chris out in Colorado. He does a lot of the promoting down in Denver. What's up, Chris? Um, he actually a uh, K Town. We went to high school together in Germany. So, um, and then we got a little. We got a couple small teams that do little street promotions. But that's that's really the main team right there. Is uh, me, uh, Red Beard, Antonio, Marusa. Um, and a few others, but yeah, we're definitely that's we're a small team, but we're growing an angel that can't forget about angel. Good, good. So you got um, so we got so we got the pipeline for promoters and boxers to get together. Yeah, uh, we got the we got the, we got the media thing going. What else? What else is Overhand Pro Boxing doing for the sport? We're uh we're actually doing paper. We're doing pay per view. We actually deal with a third party uh video pro, uh, production crew. Um, so a lot of lot, any of the fights, and I got a question on one of our first, when our first fight, we actually working on a deal right now. So hopefully we could get something going in the next two, two to three months. Um, I will, I'll keep y'all in tune on what happens with that deal. But, uh, we're, uh, pretty much, man, we, uh, we, we, <laughs> we, um, we do a lot of the media tech. We we do advertising. We do uh, marketing for different companies. Uh, my my boy Red Bear, he's out there in Florida. He actually is about to break a deal with Avon Park, where they're about to build the biggest frisbee park, uh, dog walk, motocross, um, and they're we they're going to be growing. Uh, um, not well, I'm about to say groceries. They're about to grow food as in vegetables and fruit. And give out a mil- about a million pounds of food to the help the homeless and the helpless. So um, he he's more familiar with that that part. He's he's out there in Florida breaking that deal. Um, there's a bunch of other adventures we're getting into uh, MMA for sure. We definitely get in touch with the MMA uh, roller derby. Um, I got a friend out in North Carolina that's uh, really big in the roller derby. So we're we're getting involved with that too. <laughs> Pretty much anything we could get our hands on. If it's midget wrestling, we're we're in it. We're in it, man. I mean, to us, is that anything is work to us, so we'll take it. So, man, that, that's awesome that you guys are um, 
really pulling through, and especially that that park you were talk, talking about that for feeding the homeless. I mean, that's I mean, you guys oh, yeah. are give, giving back. I mean, that's, that's community based. Whenever you can do something to give back to the community, that's always oh, it's always yeah, good man. calls. Oh, I mean, I, I I knew how it was when I was growing up, man. Like, uh, my dad was my stepdad. Um, he was military, but you know, like anything else, you got to move up in rank to really make the money. So, yeah, I mean, he started out poor. Uh, we started out poor. I mean, food stamps and all. I mean, we there's you know, like Tupac said, "Mama come home and make miracles." You know, uh, we've been through all that. So, I, I mean, I, I will never forget where I came from. So, I mean, when I see others, uh, I'm, I'm definitely dare to at least try to do something especially if i have the opportunity to do it and um you know even now like if, if i have a friend right now who's who's hungry who needs something you know you're more welcome to come over and, and grab you a plate now i can't say i'll loan you money but i'll definitely feed you <laughs> <laughs> hey i was watching i was that's another reason why i wanted to bring you guys along as i was watching your interview uh with scotty white uh shout out to world combat sports and uh, you guys had a conversation about uh, potentially starting to set up a um, retirement fund for yeah. boxers to be able to, to, to have a retirement. I know that it's not concrete or perfect yet, but can you touch on a little bit on that again and, and what kind of your idea is behind that? Okay. Um, now, this idea came from – actually from – a couple of uh, professional boxers that we spoke to, a lot of retired um, professional boxers. And Angel had actually brought it up um, before. Me and, me and Red Bear, we've been, we've been already had that in plan. But a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these legendary fighters that we talked to have brought the same thing up. So pretty much they, they kind of brought it to life. So right now, like I said, we're, we're, uh, we're brainstorming on how to, how to make uh, this – I guess some people don't like to hear the word union. I kind of, I, to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, but it's kind of like a union-based type of ordeal. Um, but, yes, it, it, if people invest in their career, yeah, at, at the end of their career, especially if they're uh, uh, signed with Overhand Pro, yes, you, you'll definitely be receiving some type of pension at the end of your career. Uh, we want that for boxers because – boxing don't have that mma is about to start that uh but i mean nba has it nfl has it i mean pretty all the major sports has it but boxing one of the oldest sports in the in united states doesn't have it so uh i feel like somebody has to step up to the plate at least try to make it happen and uh with angel help and um these other legendary boxers who who, who has a voice will definitely uh pick their brain and, and figure out how we can make this happen. Yeah, man. Awesome. All right. Now what let's switch gears now. So what, mm -hmm. uh, what fight, what boxing uh, match are you looking most forward to coming up here? Coming up. Pick one, anyone, anyone Pick you anyone. want, what's, what's the one you're before the end of 2018, what's the, the fights that are already made and ready to go. Which one of these uh, fights are you are you most wanting to see? Well, I'm. I'm I, that's a that's a good one. Um, I I really want to see more heavyweight. I, I want to see. I definitely want to see. Because uh, I heard the Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder is more more of a fight that's going to happen than the Joshua. I believe Joshua was kind of scared. Uh, of the wild technique, but, um, or do you, we have the Chalo or, uh, Jamel Charlo versus, um, um, Swift Jared Hurd. Yes. That's coming. Um, our Terrence Cropper and, um, and, um, good guy. I mean, I'm having brain farts right now. Um, Terrence Cropper, who's Terrence Cropper supposed to be fighting? Uh, they, they trying to hook up with Terrence Cropper uh -huh. and, um, Earl Spence. Earl Spence. That's. I don't think Garcia should try to fight uh, Earl Spence. I think you know coming up two weight classes to fight that that kind of an aggressive fighter that might be a good idea. Um, I think it'd be a good fight for him and Lomachenko, but I don't. I I think I don't think Earl Spence. But the Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, which I'm a I'm a edge it to Terrence Crawford. I think he's more of the the intelligent fighter out of the okay. two um 
uh, I, and I, I love his style. His, his uh, he's, I, I think he's more of a what Mayweather could have like Mayweather. Don't get me wrong, Mayweather was a, he at the beginning of his career was an offensive fighter. People don't realize how how much offense Mayweather was at the beginning of his career. But I don't think Mayweather was as, as, was as clean and powerful as Terrence Crawford was, you know, now. Um, yeah. But what defined Mayweather was not losing and, um, and having the best defense in the, in the sport. But um, really the biggest fight I'm looking for right now is, is, is the Deontay Wilder, and uh, I want to see him fight Tyson Fury. Okay. Um, I think that's going to happen. Um um, I, I have to go back on uh, and, and check out more fights. Uh, I've been I've been kind of slacking these last couple of weeks um, with my my job on the side and and getting this website. So um, I have to be more in tune in. But uh, that's that would be no problem because I love the sport of boxing now. And all I have to do is hit an app and boom, there I am. But um, like I said, uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm waiting for that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I I don't know if Tyson Fury. You know, he's trying to be like a big version of Mayweather, trying to fight with his hands down. And and I, he has good head movement, but, you know, to me, if you got the power, that you kind of dictate the fight there. So uh, even though with Wilder's wild punches, I I believe that he could, uh, he could probably knock Tyson Fury out. So. Agreed. <laughs> so, that's the fight I'm looking for because I want I, – I, and, and, and all my U.K. fans, don't get me wrong, I just, you know – we're as Americans, we finally got us a heavyweight fighter that we could be like, hey, about time, you know. So, yeah. no, no disrespect to the UK fighters; they're they're excellent fighters. Joshua was an excellent champion. I just, you know, I'm going for my boy Deontay, you know. Absolutely. Uh, shout shout out to Nikolai Fisher joining us. He's the other half of Absolutely Boxing. Hello, oh, Nick. What's up, Nick? What's up, Nick? <laughs> Hey, real, real quick, coming up in September, uh, Danny Swift Garcia is taking on Sean Showtime Porter. Porter. W- yeah, for the WBC. Yes. Uh, uh, welterweight Championship. What do you think about that fight? I'm, give, I'm, give, I'm giving my edge to Danny because uh, Sean Porter to me is more of a – he's a one-style fighter to me. He's, he's aggressive. You know, he wants to go in with his head first, throwing, just throwing hooks and uppercuts. And, you know, I, I just don't – you know, fighters like that, you know, I, Adrian Broner almost beat him. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> even though he was winning majority of the rounds, uh, Adrian, 12th round, if, if there was more rounds, like we went back to 15 rounds or so, I, I think Adrian could have got him. But uh, and to me, I think Adrian's a bum ever since he lost to Madonna. Um, uh but I, I don't I don't see him really beating Garcia. I think Garcia, he has a great jab and his counter punching is is amazing. And his counter punches is usually a knockout punch. So I'll I'll, I'll definitely I'm gonna definitely go for Danny Garcia on this. Uh, even though he hasn't been looking too great lately, but you know I think with him fighting Porter, uh, Porter's gonna probably bring him out to you know bring the best out of him. So I'm gonna give it to Danny on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, uh, um, Nick is is on absolutely boxing there, and he's uh, he's a he's a Porter he's a Porter fan, a Broder fan. I mean, you're just you're just killing uh, Nick down there. Uh, you know, don't give me, hey, Broder was my dog. <laughs> he was my dog for a minute, and then he, I just can't I can't stand a person who keeps talking shit, then lose, then lose and talk shit, then lose and talk shit. I'm like, it's time to just be humble a little bit, win a couple more fights. Get the belt back, then talk shit again. But you can't be talking shit after you lose. Like, I mean, I know you cocky and everything, but damn, man, like, you know. But I, I, I do. Like, if Adrian was more aggressive, I think Adrian will be a, a top-notch fighter. I, I don't think he throw enough punches. He's not aggressive. He's not. I mean, he has to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I think he takes a little bit too much punishment throughout the fights. Um, you know, he has a he has a solid chin. And, uh, you know, Madonna was Madonna was a bigger, stronger guy. That's why Madonna was able to able to rock him. But um, Madonna rocked Mayweather. So and Mayweather got a pretty good, strong chin too. So uh, nothing yeah. nothing bad about Broner is just you know he just to me I just <laughs> I just feel like he's not he's not 
bringing the best <laughs> out of him. You know what I'm saying? Out of himself. So, hey, you speaking the truth? It, it, it don't you know, Nick? He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, but I, I still, I, I'm still saying that you know Garcia definitely is going to beat Sean Porter, even though you know, you know Sean Porter kind of looked like a uh, like a lost cousin of uh, Shane Mosley. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they both almost kind of look alike, like they're like they're in the same bloodline. But you know, and I like Shane Mosley too. Shane was Shane was a, di- a different kind of fighter than uh, um, um, Porter. Porter, like I said, I think Porter's just a one-dimensional fighter. He just yeah. comes in aggressive, uh, and Danny's gonna. I think Danny's gonna see that, and he's gonna eat it up. Yeah, shout out to Scotty White, checking in for World Combat Sports. He's What's a big up, fan Scotty. Of- yeah, he's a big fan of uh of Jeff Jenkins and Overhand Pro Boxing. What else you thinking, Jeff? Man, I'm thinking I'm thinking that I'm gonna I wanna give out a shout out to Angel. He's out there in Vegas right now. Um he's about to be Hall of, he's about to get inducted to the Hall of Fame um next year. Nice. Um I'm gonna definitely gonna make it out there with him. We're gonna promote the company. Um and the uh, overhand pro boxing t-shirts will be coming coming out soon my boy will be coming back from costa rica um he's going to start helping distribute uh um definitely a lot of uh over overhand pro boxing gear so that's going to be another thing we're going to start having on a website so um and angel's going to help us promote it um and, and it's, it's going to be big man overhand pros is going to be it's going to be big anybody um not too many people doing what we're doing right now especially with the website um so, you know, any boxers, you want to take advantage of your career, man, just go ahead and jump on the website. It's free to get on. You know, promoters will be out there. We And we definitely need promoters. We need promoters to come on, get, get your fight card on there so we can get these fighters. You can fill your card up with no problem. Just put your web, put your fight card on the website. Um, we can make it happen for you. Yeah, man. Uh, so Overham Pro Box is it over. It's OverhamPro.com or OverhamProBoxing.com. It's OverhamPro.com. We didn't want to make it that long, <laughs> so we just say Overham Pro. Plus, we deal with MMA fighters too. MMA fighters uh, do um, they can't register on here too. Okay, roller roller derby and midget wrestling. You also do, right? Yeah, we were doing it all, man. If it, if we, <laughs> the, if we'll film a dog race if we could. Hey, I'll bet on that. I'll bet on that race. I, I grew up. I grew, I grew up on the dog tracks. <laughs> hey, uh, so an overhand pro Europe is that a separate website or is it all linked together? Um, that's separate. Overhand, um, overhand pro Europe is more for the 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 business that we deal with in Europe. We actually got a, a crew out in the UK. Um, they're going to be helping us promote out there. We got a guy out in um, we got a guy out in India. He's he's he he pretty much run the federation out there. Um, he's gonna help us get our stuff out there, and then we got the Ukraine. I got a couple people in Germany that's gonna be ready to start promoting. So right now we've been focusing more on in the states with the website, and once uh, once everything started flowing perfectly out here, we'll start focusing more in the Europe and in us. I think it's gonna be really major in Europe. Uh, I even believe it's going to even be bigger than how it, than it is in the states with this website, you know. Especially with a, a lot of Europeans out there, they they love the combat sport. Um, not saying that America does, but um, we don't live in back in the era where fighting was pretty much necessary to feed your kids. We got in America, we got different ways to make money to feed your kids, so people don't really take the the fight scene serious no more. Or you don't you you don't. You know, like I said, you still get people to come in, but you, it's not like how it used to be, you know, when everybody was struggling out in the United States, um, like the Great Depression time when everybody was fighting for food. So um, it didn't matter who you were. But Europe, they still out there. So I think um, they're, they're, they're out there in masses, especially in India. I mean, God, every you have Muay Thai. I mean, you have so many styles of fighting that's out there in um, kickboxing out in, in, in India. So... Uh, I think the 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 platform we're gonna build for um, Europe is gonna be major. It's, it's gonna be super. Yeah, that makes sense. And that's a good point you bring up. Um, a lot of people in a uh, a lot of um, a lot of people in America more uh, 
they go for boxing more of the uh, prestige or, or the show or yeah. the, spe the spectacular as opposed to the someone like me or you that goes to a boxing match or a fight. We're there to see the fight. I don't really care about what's going on around me. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, it's like I got tunnel vision. When I'm watching boxing, I got tunnel vision. So it was like, to mm -hmm. me, it's, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, watching, I'm watching these two guys and, and what's their strategy? What's their move? Well, what, who, who's going to have the heart to win this fight? And, th and, that's, and to me, that's, that is the most exciting part about boxing is, is who has the most hunger to win this fight. I mean, you, you'll be surprised, uh, you know, a lot of underdogs too. You know, underdogs definitely make the fight great too because you'll be like, oh, wow, oh, I, I didn't see that shit coming, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, that makes the sport even more exciting because you just never know what's going to happen, especially in the sport of boxing and MMA too. So uh, I, I, that's why I, I love combat sport. I was more of a street fighter than organized fighting, but um, <laughs> that's before I had kids. But uh, no, I, now it's just you know I, I love I, I love I love the sport of boxing and you know MMA is definitely uh, it's coming up. It's, it's starting to be one of the sports I'm starting to love too. So awesome! Hey, are you doing uh, anything in Japan at all? Man, we have not touched in Japan. We we got to China, but we have not. We need to though, because uh, they got pride fighting out there. Um, there and there's oh man, Japan would be great. I actually been wanting to go to Japan for the longest, so um, we're definitely gonna be touching bases out there. And we definitely we we got a couple business partners we're gonna be talking to, or not our business partners, but business partners that we're gonna be dealing with. Uh, hopefully they'll be business partners. Uh, but they have they definitely have connections out in Japan, so. Hopefully this weekend we'll have this successful conference meeting um, and, and, and make this company grow even more. Man, so. so Overhand Pro is all over the world, right? Yeah. We're, See what that's, every, that's what everyday promoting does, man. <laughs> Every day. I, I, get, I, get about, I average about four hours of sleep because if I'm not at work, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the phone promoting, on my laptop promoting, um, the, I, I give big ups to my crew because they're the hardest working people I've seen in the in a while. They they they're on it twenty four seven. And especially Marusa, she's she's definitely pretty much handling the European side by herself. So, and she's and she's definitely making it uh, successful out there in Europe. So, yeah, it's crazy. So before we get out of here, uh, Jeff, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you, see you, all your all your social media, website, let, let everybody know where, where they can reach you at. Okay, you could definitely reach me on Facebook, Jeff Jenkins, or you could go to or you could go to Overhand Pro Boxing, hit likes. We always have uh, good information for a, a lot about the websites, even um, boxing news, too. We, we do a lot of boxing news. Uh, you could go to Overhand Pro Boxing 00 at gmail.com. You could definitely leave us a message there. You could go to the website at overhandpro.com. Um, or you could go to Jeffrey Jenkins97 at uh, yahoo.com. Um, get us linked there. Uh, we're on uh, Instagram. You go to Overhand Pro Box on Instagram. You could go to Jeff Jenkins on Instagram. Um, so there's uh that's that's pretty much what we that's what we got right there. If you want to get in touch with me, there's the information and um and, and, and boxers and promoters, man, please join the website. You, you would not regret it. You will definitely love it, and it's, and it's cost efficient for you. You know, you don't have to worry about a high expense budget. You know, when you come dealing with this pipeline, where 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 we have reasonable prices for on both parties. So definitely um, come out and support everybody. And hey, I appreciate appreciate you, Joe, for letting me be on here. And I'm a shout out to my family out in Virginia and Georgia. They love you, Pops. Love you, sister. Love you, brother. Um, my boy Red Bear out there in Florida. I know you're watching. What's up? Antonio, good job, man. Keep up the good work. Uh, Chris out in Denver. Hey, hey, good looking out, man. I actually see you tomorrow, bro. We're going to do some more promoting, hit them gems. Hey, so, hey, thank you, everybody. So, Hey, Jeff, thanks so much for coming on, man. We appreciate it. It was a good, good talk we had. Yeah, no problem, my man. Hey, thanks, Joe, man. We'll definitely have to do this again, man. Yeah, we'll be talking more in the future. We'll we'll be we'll continue to cross paths, guaranteed. That's for sure. All right, man. Thanks All right, so my much. brother. You keep it easy, man. Thank you, everybody. So there you have it, Jeff Jenkins on there. Uh, great guy, man. Just doing things for the sport of boxing and 
And like we all are, I mean, again, Scotty White on here, shout out to World Combat Sports. They're doing, they, they are doing what they do for combat sports and, and uh, just follow everybody, follow overhandpro.com. Check out what they're doing. If you're a boxer, register with them. If you're a promoter, get on with them and make sure you check out Bad Sports. He's doing it all the time. So peace out, everybody. Good seeing you. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>